Hello, my soapy friends, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lissa, also known as the Soap Chef on this channel where we make all things with a rather good lather. I've been a maker in this industry for over two decades. We are a 3D bath bomb mold supplier, and my favorite products to make, of course, are bath bombs. But that's enough about me. Well, Let's good morning, right party today. people. I thought I would pop in here real quick to let you know what we're going to be doing today over at Creation Station. I need to do a rebatch on my magnesium butter. I'm down to just a couple of jars, and it's a really popular um, product. I sell out of it quite a bit, and I actually have a couple of orders, so I'm going to be uh, revamping the magnesium butter that I usually do it is going to be adding some MSM so for those of you that don't know I already do have one of the uh, videos up on my YouTube channel now with the magnesium butter that I make and it includes DMSO along with the magnesium flakes but I am upping the game and I'm going to be adding MSM to it to improve it a little bit so for those of you that don't know magnesium chloride is used to help relieve pain from your leg cramps if you get leg cramps, which I definitely do. Um, as a matter of fact, coincidentally, last night I was woken up in the middle of the night. Now, I usually use my magnesium cream pretty much every single night, but I haven't been doing that lately. And so those leg cramps last night woke me up in the middle of the night. So I had to jump out of bed and put some cream on there. But it can help to relieve leg cramps, um, joint pain. If you have restless leg syndrome, it's good for that. Um, also, if you're having trouble sleeping, it can really help to kind of lull you to sleep and keep you to sleep. A lot of people will use magnesium spray on the bottom of their feet right before they go to bed, and that seems to help with that. Um, the reason why I use DMSO, which is dimethyl sulfoxide, um, it's because that's also good for, for pain relief, and it's usually found in prescription medications uh, that are used specifically for osteoarthritis, and they usually use that at a 25% rate in their prescription creams that you can get from a doctor. Um, it also helps other ingredients to penetrate uh, a little bit more deeply into the skin for the relief of you know, joint and muscle aches and pains, those type of things. And then MSM, that's also found in medications that are used for osteoarthritis. Um, it's also used as an anti-inflammatory um, if there's swelling and inflammation in your soft tissue. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what we're going to be doing today, the ingredients that we're going to be using, and why we use them. So who wants to go make some magnesium butter? Well, let's go get crack -a Okay guys, welcome back to Creation Station. I need to make some more magnesium butter. We are upping the game today, like I said in the intro. We are including the MSM along with the DMSO that I have already been including in it, and of course, our magnesium flakes. So we have to make our brine first. I've already got the flakes in here, as you can see, and now I need to add some boiling water. are the kind of magnesium flakes that I am using. I get these off of Amazon. Pretty big flakes. So that's all there is to it as far as making your magnesium brine. You can use this for your magnesium spray. I don't use it as this strength. This is 67% magnesium flakes, 33% of the water, the distilled water, and I boil that. When I make my spray, I just do a 50-50 blend because that you're putting that straight on your skin, undiluted, whereas this is going to be mixed in with butters, emulsifiers, and other things. But we definitely want it to work, right? So you have to have an amount in there, and this is the amount that I have found that works the best. I use this all the time. Like I said in my intro, I was actually woken up in the middle of the night last night I had a headache, I had leg cramps, it was a horrible night for sleeping. Just give this some good stirs until all of those flakes are completely 
dissolved in there. Then we're going to add our DMSO. We're also going to be adding MSM. That is how we are kicking this up a notch as opposed to the other formula that is already up in the member section. It does not include the MSM, but I've always included the DMSO, which is dimethyl sulfoxide. Really, really good. I've been using this for, oh gosh, since I was a massage therapist way back in the 90s. It works really well. All right, that's about clearly dissolved. I'm not seeing any other flakes down in there. So at this point, we can go ahead and add our DMSO. I'm going to add the um, MSM first, actually. Make sure that this is on grams, so I'm very precise in my measurements. Give this a stir first before we add the, the MSO. And if you are finding that your water cooled down a little bit too much and then your, your MSM uh, flakes and crystals are not dissolving, just go ahead and put this in a water bath which is exactly what I am going to do because I let this cool down a little bit too much. So give me a moment, I'm gonna go and stick this in a water bath. Okay, while that is in a water bath, um, trying to dissolve the rest of those MSM crystals, we're just gonna keep on going, get everything else in here because this also needs to go into a water bath to start melting. We've got our emulsifying wax, stearic acid, acetyl alcohol, Shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter. That's it. Let me go put that in a water bath and I'll bring you back. Okay, putting the brine into a water bath helped to dissolve the rest of the MSM crystals. We're going to go ahead and add our DMSO right now. bit of a mix. The DMSO has a little bit of an off-putting smell to it, but that does not come through in the finished product. All right, so now we are just going to start adding the brine. Actually, let me put that over there because I need to make sure that I have the correct amount. Because just because you make a big batch of the brine, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the amount that you're going to use for whatever preparation you are doing. So I need to measure out the correct amount of brine. All right, let's go ahead and start adding that. Perfect, and I can save the rest of that in the refrigerator, which is perfectly fine for the next time I need to go ahead and restock. Okay, now that I've got everything added, let's go ahead and give this a mix. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead, you see there's a lot of bubbles. This is the absolute wrong type of whisk to be using for this. I can go ahead and spritz it with some alcohol. That's not gonna be a big deal. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for five minutes, because that's how you do it. You mix everything together, you, you whisk it, 
put it in the fridge for a few minutes, come back, whisk it again. You have to do it in increments to make sure that the brine with the DMSO gets mixed in and you're not left with chunks or curdles. So be right back. Okay, it's been sitting in the refrigerator for about five minutes, but we're gonna go ahead and put this into a deeper vessel so that I have more wor working room. And I'm changing out my mixer. That other one, um, the mixer head, the egg beater part of it was just way too broad and wide. And it was creating a lot of splashing. I just wanna get every last little bit of this because this is like liquid gold. Okay, different mixer. Let's get in here. Like I said, this was in the refrigerator for five minutes. You're seeing it start to come together now and there's no lumps or chunks, but we are gonna put it back in the refrigerator again one more time. So you're doing that twice after you mix everything together. Give it a whisk, put it in your refrigerator, bring it out, whisk it again. Put it back in the refrigerator and then you will whisk it one final time before adding your scent and preservative. And we're doing that just to make sure that we incorporate that DMSO because it is a little bit of a booger to try to incorporate, but it is so worth it, you guys. I mean, anybody can make a magnesium cream just with magnesium flakes, um, you know, making your brine and adding all your other things like you would make a cream or a lotion, but this is kicked up a notch. This stuff works really, really well, and I cannot keep it in stock. All right, it's definitely coming together now. It's looking really nice, but again, we're gonna put it back in the refrigerator for another five minutes. Okay, it's been another five minutes. Let's give it a final whisk. That's actually going to be good enough. I don't want to keep going and adding um, a whole ton of air bubbles to it. So at this point, we are ready to add our fragrance and our preservative. I use lavender essential oil because part of the reason why I make this cream is to help with sleeplessness at night. I have awful, awful insomnia. So it definitely helps with that. All right, so again, we're using the lavender essential oil. Make that the big. And some people have been saying that you don't need to preserve magnesium oil. Um, and technically speaking, because of the high concentration of it, you don't. Um, however, I always err on the side of caution, always. And so I am going to be using a preservative in my cream. All right, and I'm just gonna get in here with a spatula at this point and mix that all together and then we'll be ready to pour and then we'll be done. That lavender is just wafting up into my nose. It's so nice. I'm telling you, this stuff works so good, you guys. I'm not even just blowing smoke up your keister. It really, really works well. When I get leg cramps in the middle of the night, it is bad. It is really bad, like last night, it was bad. It jumped from one leg to the other leg. All I have to do is just, because I keep this right at my bedside, just get up and rub it. I use the palm of my hand to give it a really nice, good rub down into my skin. Within minutes, I'm able to fall back asleep and stay asleep for the rest of the night. All right, I think we are good to go and ready to pour. This will thicken up again. It's still 
quite warm on the bottom. It's not hot, but it's warm. All right, I've got my little jars right over here, all sanitized and ready to roll. rest of this I just put into a big eight ounce um, container and stick that in the refrigerator for when I need to replenish throughout the rest of uh, however long it's going to take. <laughs> this is just a small batch that I made today because I had an order um, for a few of them. But that's going to do it for today's uh, video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the uh, updated and refined version of the magnesium butter that I make that includes DMSO and MSM, lavender essential oil. Fantastic, works well, aches, pains, your joint problems, um, restless leg syndrome, cramps, helps you go to sleep at night, all of the above. And no, we are not making medical claims. I'm not going around telling everybody this is some type of a miracle cure. Please get the magnesium butter. It's gonna help all of these medicinal aches and pains and everything else. But it is a fact. Some of the ingredients that we are using absolutely have proven to help with these things. Just don't go around saying that. Don't tell your customers that. Don't put it up on your website, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, it's the next day, guys, and I just wanted to um, show you the consistency of the magnesium butter that we made yesterday. This is the revised version, the better version, the updated version, the new and improved version. So I wanted you guys to see what the consistency is like. Okay, all right, and with that, I will see you guys in a future video. Until then, be kind and stay humble. Take care of yourselves. See you soon.